Hello! This video tutorial will walk you through the Map Seat Products extension within the Pioneer Fit Studio software program. This tool will assist and allow you to place products or crop zones like which fields will be corn and which fields will be soybeans at a faster rate. To begin, select the operation name and the planting season, then select either the operation or the farm level in the domain tree. Next, launch the Map Seed Products extension by selecting Seeding from the program menu, then select Map Seed Products. Note that the Map Seed Products extension will search and then load in existing proposals that have been saved. In this case, it starts with alfalfa, so I'm going to switch down to see what proposals is loaded for corn. When you first launch the Map Seed Products extension, operations without a My Favorite Products list will automatically import the demand plan list for the operation. The products will appear on the Available Products tab. Available Products tab. To add specific products, select the Products button on the Map Seed Products window. Next, choose a crop brand product and default seeding rate. Add any additional products that are needed. So I add a product, type it in P1151. Select it. Select a seed treatment. Select a starting seeding rate, 34500. When finished, select OK. To begin placing products, Highlight the row of a product, 1151 AM. Next, press the Assign a Product to a Field button. After the button is selected, navigate over the top of a field boundary on the map and left click one time. The field boundary will change to a hash of the color of the selected product row. This is the color. It is here. If multiple products have been proposed to a field boundary, the boundary will appear with a gray hash color. Stick another product on. It's still selected. Select the field. Once a product or products are placed on a field boundary, you can see which products are on the field by using the selected field tab. Selected field tab. If you need to remove a product from a field boundary, Select the product row and press the Delete Product button. The product will be removed from the selected field proposal. In my case, I'm going to expand my window out by left mouse clicking on it here and dragging it out. There's my products. I'm going to get rid of this product here. Select the Delete Products button. Ask me if I want to delete it. I say yes. If multiple products are proposed on a field boundary, you can set a priority to signify which products are the primary recommendation. The priority column is right here. Since I only have one, I'll just leave it one. If I had another one, I could change that to one and a two. If you'd like to propose a crop rather than a specific product, you can assign a temporary crop zone and then later assign the specific product. To do this, Select the Assign a Crop to Field Operations button right here. This option will take the crop listed in the crop drop-down, corn in this case, and then create a place card holder for a product to be proposed at a later time. Next, left mouse click on a field boundary. The field boundary will change to a solid color representing the DuPont Pioneer seed bag color. A corn proposal will color the field boundary yellow, soybeans will color the boundary blue, and so forth. To change crops, I'm going to go to soybeans. This is still highlighted. You can see it indented. Go over to a field, left mouse click to add a soybean crop zone. When all products and crops have been proposed, 
The map screen will show the results of using the Map Seed Products extension. For an additional visual reference, push pins may be placed to represent a location for a particular product should be placed in the field. To place a push pin for a particular product, select the product row, move over to selected field, select the product row, select the mark product location button, which is the push pin icon, left mouse click on a location in a field. A push pin and label will appear representing the color of the product placed. If you would like to delete all push pins for a particular product, select the product row and press the unmark all locations button. Row is selected. Select the unmark all locations. They're gone. When finished proposing products, it is recommended to close the map seed products window. To close, simply click the X in the upper right corner. Thanks for taking the time to complete this module. Additional modules and documentation are available on our YouTube channel and on the Sales Training and Development Portal. For follow-up and support questions, please dial 877-PIONEER, press option 1, option 3, then option 6. Be safe and good selling.